This is a continuation of a flip through my 2010 Minnesota State Fair journal. So just starting in on my third visit, this is a big sketch. More in the swine barn. I'm working with the same materials, Daniel Smith watercolors, uh, Stetler pigment liner for a pen, and um, I'm working on Gutenberg. And I was about 15 feet back from these cows. I thought I was nicely out of the way, but um, everybody kept stopping in front of me, so I had to give up on that drawing. With sheep and smaller farm animals, you can usually stand right next to their pen and almost look down right on top of them or over to them if they're at the back of the pen. So it makes a nice drawing angle as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this is a fun page. This is just gesture sketches of chickens moving all around because sometimes they're not calm and don't stand still. Another bird who wouldn't stand still was this uh, guinea fowl. And so I have this somewhat abortive drawing over here. And then I even tried to take pictures of him. And as you can see from this collage of different pictures I made that night, um, which I left the space for, um, he managed to get out of every single photo I took of him. A different red and black chicken than the one I drew the previous day. I also took a photo of him and put that in that night when I was doing my final notes. And so this is my next visit, a separate day. This is yet another black and red chicken that maybe is the theme. I saw a lot of those. Um, also, I, I think that the ones with the really fancy feathers take longer to, to draw, so maybe I avoided those. I only had a few minutes to draw this one. My friend Tom, uh, who uh, had uh, called me on my cell phone, and we got together to sketch for a little bit, had finished his sketch and was off to eat a cinnamon roll, which was just at the corner of the building, and so I had until he got back to finish this sketch. After he left that afternoon, um, I went out around and did some more sketching on my own. Trying to get back into it. It was very cold that day, unusually cold. And so it's nice to be in the barns. This goose was very accommodating and standing very still until I wanted to take his picture when I finished. And at that point, then he moved all around. So I had to take pictures of his pen mate, which show up later on. But at least have a reference shot. The dwarf goat. This time I found a, a guinea fowl that I could actually take a picture of. It was calm. So these are my end of day photos, and this is the pen mate of the goose that I drew. So this is <coughs> another day at the fair, warming up again in the swine barn, moving on to sheep. Realized I hadn't drawn a cow the entire time so far, so I did this Hereford. Nice goat. I talked to her owner and found out a lot about goats and this sheep in particular. And this is also when I realized that I was coming down with something. The back of my nose felt funny. But I kept sketching. Went off to see some friends, decided I better draw at least one person. And I drew one scene, and what attracted me here was this wall of sunflowers. You can see the people over here for height. This was my last sketch at the fair. Uh, one of the singers at a bandstand type of stage had 
fan fantasy hair where they put colors and glitter in their hair. And this I drew is one of my saltwater taffy pieces when I got home from the fair. These are reference shots from this day. And some notes about the birds and what I thought about them. Business card I picked up. On September 6th, which is the last day of the fair, and I was supposed to go with a friend for a couple hours in the afternoon, not so much to sketch, but just look at some of the other things that I maybe hadn't seen yet or that she and I like to do together. And unfortunately, I was sick by then. And uh, so I just wrote about and summed up my experience at the fair this year. And these were reference shots from the first day. These are some notes I took. Um, sometimes um, I'd be doing something and I didn't want to write on the page, so I'd write in the back here. And this is my index. I index all my journals. You can read about that on my blog, roswoundup.typepad.com. Um, if you go into the pages area, you'll see that um, there's a page about indexing your journals. And I do that so I can find things again. Normally, they don't fold out like this, but I was out of pages, which is a good thing. So that's a quick look at my 2010 State Fair Journal. 121 pages, I managed to finish it and get back into the drawing mode, so I feel pretty happy.